This video is sponsored by Surfshark. What is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching King and Us. And we are back on the road in quest of the bus exploring stunning Scotland. We've been in Scotland now for five weeks and so far it's been a proper adventure. <laughs> We've broken down. Just another custard adventure. Had a few malfunctions. The pipes just burst. <laughs> Eaten some tremendous food. From the love of a wee man. And had a few too many drinks. Gin. I'm away with the fairies, I'm not sure what's my going for. <laughs> the first half of this trip was full on, after driving the NC500 with our mates, and then heading to Aberdeen to film a campaign for Visit Scotland, we were battered. When we set off for this trip, the idea of the bus was to be able to take it easy. So this week, we are attempting to slow down a bit and enjoy the sights. Or so we thought. <laughs> That's literally not what we need right now. Get your shoes on, Emily. Oh, As we left Aberdeen, we found a campsite to stop and refill our water, empty our toilet, etc. We ended up chatting to the owner, Helen, who let us stay for a few nights, fed us in the cafe, and we filmed a video for a campsite. They actually had a garage on site and Custard went in for a much needed service. So after a quick oil and filter change, we were on our way and heading for a castle. It was apparent that autumn was coming. The trees were turning that gorgeous orangey red colour and we bumped into some animals. Hi girls. <clears throat> Hi ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Hello ladies. Ladies. Hello chicken noodle soup. Hi. Hello, don't be scared. Four and a half hours later and we're ready to go and see the castle. Does anyone else's girlfriend take an hour to get ready and then go, are you ready? Are you, are you ready? Are you ready to go? <laughs> I didn't take Yes, I'm ready. To ready. I've been sat in my driving seat for an hour. I couldn't find my jumper. Yes, we are twinning today because we're those guys. Hey, just, we're that couple. Just a quick plug. This King and It merchandise is now available on our website. Yes! A couple of good things about that. One, we got free UK delivery now because we've got a UK supplier. Sort you right out. Number two, we've got compostable, earth-friendly packaging. Wicked. So it's not going to be none of this plastic throwaway stuff. Yep. Um, and we've got a new range, so go and check it out. It's absolute top quality as well. It is. Loving it. Really, really proud of this stuff because it is, oh, it's thick, isn't it? It's yeah. lush. We're on our way to Craig Iver Castle. Looks like a belter. Is this your castle? I do mean, you, do you have anything to do with it? If, if you've just met me, my name's Craig, and uh, <laughs> it's actually a Scottish name, and it means rock Is or it? rock art, which I am. So, is that rockhead? That's what it means. And one thing we forgot to mention about this castle is pink. <laughs> So this but castle here boys got facts. was built by a, a Ms. Floss, first name Candy, when she came <laughs> into a lot of money <laughs> from making um, fluffy edible sugar. Oh, no way! This is what she spent. When she made her first 100k, yes. she was like, I'm going to build a castle. What a girl. To look like my product. So Amazing, there you go. I love it. They were going to call it Candy Floss Castle, but they just went with... Craig's Cooler. Craig instead. Yeah. This is the castle that inspired Walt Disney's Cinderella castle. It was built in 1576 by the Mortimer family who were, ended up becoming really um, poor because they spent all their money on bitches and strippers. And so it was taken over by another guy who put some more money into it. And this is what it currently looks like. It's pissing down! <laughs> when it rains, we have a lot of leaks in Custard's roof. So when we got back, Handy Andy took to his tools again. Uh, safety inspection of the bus whilst it's raining. Uh, <laughs> turns out 
there's a hole in the window. Yeah. So that's why we got a wet cupboard. So I've had a little look. I've, I've got the drill out. You missed it. I got the drill out. Oh, took some screws you're out. You're a right boy, are you? Traced the source. Yeah. Um, spent about an hour doing it, and then just looked at the looked at the windowsill, which is soaking wet. Right, let's have a look. So um, there's a big hole by there. Oh, that's the outside. That is. Someone who was making the the rubber seal for the window just went. Do you know what? I'm done for the day. <laughs> so I'm going to stop there. Oh. You're right there, mate. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, either that or they related to me and the, the maths just wasn't on fleek. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a bit of sealing to be fine, don't worry about it, love. What about, what about the, the one above the, oh, the we'll board? Oh, we'll finish that later, finish that later. Oh. We are actually in the middle of nowhere. We use Park for Night, the app, to see. But we're in the middle of like a foresty area, which is wonderful. So for tonight's dinner of choice, we have some greens cooked in soy sauce, which gives them that tasty salty goodness go on chef Banzi. and then because we're because we're doing band life i had to do like a two in one thing so Banzi, Banzi, Banzi. <laughs> you have to cook the um the corn just in water but we're doing a ramen anyway so i thought bung them in the ramen you know so we've got the noodles going we have chicken wings oh, oh shit i nearly dropped the whole thing all vegan, yes, all vegan. You know posh people do posh ramen and they like slice the meat and put it on top. Meat. That's what I'm gonna do. You're so spoiled, Craig. Honestly, God, you do not deserve me. This is the bigger one, obviously. Oh, Fat baby. Cow. <laughs> Go on, Chef Banzi. Look yeah. at that. That's Michelin star, that is. I want a shirt saying Chef Banzi on it now. Smash the thumbs up if you can see a noodle on my fork. This isn't an everyday thing, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. You'd think it was like Craig's birthday or something, but usually dinner consists of like frazzles with a mushy pea dip. <laughs> so this is very, very, this talented work, Craig, this. Don't get used to it. You look lush today, babes. Huh? Well, I fake tanned for all the haters out there. So, uh, an extra layer, that's for you. It's just for you. <laughs> Thanks, babes. Don't cry about it. <laughs> oh, love, how long do you reckon you spend online? 45, 50 hours? Yeah, I thought so. And if you haven't got a VPN to secure your digital life, you are vulnerable. <laughs> What's your name? Amy. Not online, it's not. Your identity has been stolen. And now your name's Crystal and you're a stripper with a GoFundMe page. You must protect your identification online. And there's only one thing I suggest. Uh -huh. Surfshark. Surfshark is an online app that you can get on your phone, your iPad and your laptop, which acts like your own private Jesus bouncer savior. And when it's enabled, it protects you and all your information whilst you're surfing the web online. With Surfshark, there's a tool where you can transfer your location to anywhere in the world. Which means when we're having cozy nights like this in the bus, we can watch Netflix US. The best part about that is, there's loads more films on there that you can't get in the UK. No, 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 no. no Jerry, do you like the S? All right, lads, so we know some of you guys are in lockdown and right now, the Tinternet is your only friend. <laughs> we're your friends as well. Whatever. Uh, so we spoke to the guys at Surfshark and they're going to offer you the biggest discount we've ever heard of, basically. Craig, tell them. 83% off. 83% <laughs> off. Who does that though? Hang on, that's not the end. 83% off and, th and three months extra free. Yo! You're welcome. That's ultimate protection online with your own Jesus bouncer. Just go to this link here <laughs> and use the code RYOW, which means... Rule your own world. He's back. <laughs> He's back. What I've done is I've done some research and I found out that once upon a time, a couple of Egyptians rocked up in Scotland and they built a little pyramid in the woods. So I'm going to take you there, babes. I was about that. The day you do research, <laughs> Craig, will be a mighty fine day. <laughs> no, Amy's done research as always. This one's a hidden gem. Not many people know that this exists. But Craig's right, the pharaoh and his peeps were here, lads, in Scotland. They weren't, were they? 
No. <laughs> Heading west, we were about to enter Scotland's biggest playground, the Cairngorms National Park. Jam-packed with outdoor adventures, from whitewater rafting to reindeer canoodling and water sports on the locks. En route, we pass cute little farmhouses with smoke coming out of their chimneys, like something out of Hocus Pocus. Yellow. Not sure. Maybe they fell in some whiskey. I've just had a thought whilst I've been driving along. Right. And um, we're on this road trip and like, we always say like, if you, has anyone got any suggestions or whatever? And people always say, oh, you should go here and do this or you should go here and do that. And it's wicked when people give you recommendations. But sometimes like, feel bad that you can't do everything um, and it's a little bit like this is a bit deep now it's a little bit like life like everybody will tell you what you should do and where you should go and if you try to do all those things it can be stressful yeah. to follow everyone else's advice but if you literally just like we're just doing what we want now we're taking our own path yeah. and it's like it's the most relaxed I've felt in such a long time and, and we're literally just having our own little adventure and it's amazing. Yeah. It's so cool, it's isn't it? It's so good to hear you say that as well, Craig, because I know you've been stressed out. Like... I've been a little bit stressed, you know, yeah. with work and stuff. <laughs> DM me, Mom. <laughs> DM me, I'm all right, hun, don't worry. Yeah. But yeah, I just I had that little epiphany then driving along. So if you're, if you're living your life now and you're getting told what to do and what you should do, just do your own thing. Thought of the day. It's another one of our mantras, isn't it? Rule your own world. Rule your own world. Life. Exactly, lads. So. And we are. That's why you're feeling good, babes. You're welcome, lads. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna meet. Okay, as they would say in India, what is the plan, brother cousin? <laughs> uh, brother cousin we've made it to where we're, we think we're supposed to park a uh, couple of problems it's pissing down with rain mm. or pissing down as they say in scotland uh and we don't know quite where it is so we're gonna just make it up also it's nearly five o'clock sun's about to set we're about an hour and a half away from where we need to sleep tonight for the reindeers tomorrow so we're gonna grab some snacks we're gonna grab our camera bag and we're gonna go even though it's raining we're just gonna head out we're gonna go for it we're nuts like that one time, I slept in the bath. Shut up, did you? you Karen, you are crazy! <laughs> Mad, mate. Go on in. Should we take the shiwi just in case? Just in case you need to go. I've never used it. I don't actually know which way it goes. This bit's thin and this bit's fat. Which bit goes where? If you know how to use a shiwi, leave it in the comments below. Smash that thumbs up if you've ever used a shiwi or you're intrigued by what a shiwi is. Do, 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 do. I've never used it, I've never used it. <laughs> 24 hour surveillance, Craig, you got that hooked up or what? No, yeah. <laughs> or, or are you still using it as your OnlyFans camera? Selling a couple of clips online, like. It's that moustache. We've been doing so well. We can nearly afford a mansion because of that moustache. I know, I do special requests. If you want anything, let me know. <laughs> Hang on, what did you say? I'm out of snacks. You're already. out of snacks. The car is there. You're out of <laughs> snacks. So, uh, Kate, somebody called Kate, written a blog post. Gonna help us out, isn't she? I say we just use our intuition, no. but Amy's like, oh. no, that's not fair. Intuition? We don't hike, Craig. We do don't you want do an this. adventure or do you want to follow a blog post? We've got a big day planned tomorrow and I want to make it. Look, I'm out of snacks. I've got no patience. <laughs> Let's just follow the map. I ain't going. I ain't bloody going. But I swear to God, if this is the wrong way, Craig, you're going to be single real soon. This is why we don't hike. We're two minutes in. And we've fallen out already. Look who showed up. Just <laughs> <Just broke> off, Craig. <laughs> Good little hiking trousers. 
These are from Tesco where Amy buys the best clothes. Na 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 na. You're such a fat bath, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. So if you come in here, you want to follow this sign up this road. So after that sign, we took a right and then an immediate left. And then when you hit that little cottage, take a left. You see a little sign that says to Prince Albert's Cairn. So make sure you're going this way. It was a 17 foot beer in my dream last night. I'm not even joking. It's probably the most magnificent place I've ever been. It looks like straight out of a fairy tale, doesn't it? It's crazy, yeah, it's so quiet. There's nobody here. Just look at it. <gasps> What's that? Don't, don't, don't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> not today, Craig, yeah? <sighs> don't do that kind of stuff. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit steep this bit for me, Craig. You go on. You go on. I can see it. Oh, hallelujah. It's just on top of that massive hill by there. Oh, no. You've made it. You've passed the exam. You've done the hike. Now claim your prize. Have a look. Hang on while I strip down to my pants because I'm boiling. Ah, oh, wicked. That is so cool. Why, why here? Why all the way up here though? This was actually built by Queen Victoria after her husband died. Was it? Yeah. Serious? He was only 42. So she built it in his memory. Oh. Which is really lovely. Do you like going all day in Egypt, did he? Not that I know of, Craig. If I die, you're going to build me a pyramid or what? Absolutely, Craig. Imagine you carrying each one of these stones up here. <laughs> never, never happened. No, no, I changed my mind. Ch changed my mind. It was at this moment that she knew she f***ed up. <laughs> uh, Amy said, I'll, I'll run into shot now. I said, make sure you don't kick the rock. Because she was like, yeah, yeah. We were, we were attempting to do like a flying kick. <laughs> and uh, we hit the ground running. <laughs> I can't wait to see those frogs on. <laughs> Cobra Kai never dies. <laughs> Such a incredibly awesome little spot this is isn't it really cool but if you come watch out for that rock there's over a, there's there there's a rock there someone put a rock you there just, you walk past he goes Brah, and then you fall over <laughs> i was literally like watch if you're gonna run watch the rock as you just booted it and just <laughs> Go I mean, if you're gonna take a photo you've got to send it haven't you <laughs> but the, the funniest thing craig is that we're on our way back down now the tread on these boots Laughable, mate. Five pound these were from TK Maxx, and every time you, you take a little, what, oh, oh, they go. <laughs> you can hear them. You literally can hear them just laughing. His shoes are laughing at you. Yeah. So um, maybe hold on to me a bit tighter on the way back down. You're gonna give me a cupcake because I fell. You did have a lot. I did have a fall, so I should have a cupcake. You a cupcake. <laughs> it's getting dark, and Amy's deciding to start telling ghost stories. <laughs> this woman came out of nowhere when we were at the pyramids. She literally just did a circle. Yeah. said hello and then disappeared and Amy's like imagine we get back now and they're like there's a tale of this woman called Elizabeth something I and said she... Elizabeth Taylor who's that? that's the woman but really she's a ghost <laughs> <laughs> don't it's don't. getting dark and we're in the forest you're such a wimp I swear 17 foot beer in my dream mate <laughs> it looks so beautiful but as soon as it gets dark it looks creepy as Morning lads, so we had an hour's drive this morning and we are now at the reindeer centre. We're late obviously, so we're, we're hot stepping it to the reception. Uh, we've got a bit of a trek. We've been under strict rules to wear shoes with tread on them. He said no street shoes, so I couldn't put my street shoes on. Yeah, we couldn't be street today, could we? Well, you, you look street. I look street. I look like I'm ready for uh, the Cardiff bath. 
You go, what are those? No, you get there and you go, last shoes, mate. <laughs> Sticker for my jacket. Wicked. <laughs> so uh, there's a bit of a hike to see the reindeer. It's fine, absolutely fine. Um, great, I think you should play some Christmas songs for everyone, on your, just on your phone. Put it loud so everyone can hear. It's nearly as ugly as your shoes. <laughs> reindeers live between 12 and 14 years which isn't that, that much I mean Craig looked at each other I was like it's fine it's fine we're about to walk on this boardwalk now and the guys have said that the reindeers will join us on the walk <laughs> we're gonna be surrounded by at least 40 reindeers today so what he's told us is that they've got a herd of about 150 and they don't kill reindeer so they don't like make money from selling skins or anything like that. In the last one we went, we did the tour in Norway and then at the end they gave us reindeer soup or tried to give us reindeer soup. A bit odd, but they don't sell that here. But apparently they used to be native to Scotland about a thousand years ago uh, and then they were reintroduced by a Swedish reindeer herder who brought eight over and then they've grown it to 150. So um, we're going into like an enclosure now, which is like 1200 acres, which is where they do all the breeding. He said they're all on it for three weeks. So they've got to get the calves out. I'm a little bit apprehensive because I did get absolutely battered by one in Norway. <laughs> they go between you all, we can't wait. Oh, little poop. <laughs> You're no fluffy baby. Oh my the stance on this one. <laughs> <laughs> You're just having the best day ever. Taking like all of my might and all of my strength to not jump on one. <laughs> so this is Ollie who works Ollie. in the centre and he's got a couple of questions. I Go on. I have a couple of questions, but you've answered most of them. So say somebody, maybe someone who's got a renovated bus, perhaps possibly would want um, like a, a pet reindeer. <laughs> um, how much is one of these going for? Like asking for a friend. As a friend. Yeah, asking yeah. for a friend. Uh, well, we don't sell ours. Uh, we, we purely like, we want them in their natural habitat, uh, like here. Uh, they like the free room around the big mountainside. Um, so we don't really sell them for um, sell them to, to anybody. Right, uh, but uh, there is that. <laughs> I'm so you sort your tempting. morals out. Oh, well, I mean, what was his name again? Druid. Oh, uh, this is Druid. Druid has whispered in my ear he would be happy to come <laughs> into custard the bus. He is quite a lazy one, the fairness. He'll probably like the chill life. Yeah. Do you say you got a heat trip? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah, a small enough. double bed. So <laughs> can sleep on the floor. <laughs> and then me and Druid can go in the bed. <laughs> oh, what a day that was, Dave, eh? So good. We found out so much about reindeer as well. Like, I didn't know this before, but they communicate by like a clicking noise. And the clicking comes from the, the legs, the, the bones legs. and their back legs. It's mental. And it's to like, so they preserve like heat loss. Energy. So instead of having to like make a noise with their mouth, they like click with their legs. It's so clever. <laughs> well, I want a cup of tea now when we go back and we'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the laziest person, so if I click my heels, it's a cuppa, please. Is it? <laughs> and they've got little velvety noses, and it just cues the button. I think usually they like they let you stroke them, but because of COVID, COVID. you're not allowed to. I'm like, but I don't got COVID. Can I touch him? <laughs> oh, so, bless yeah. him. Great guys who take the tour. So if you ever pop up this way, then uh, yeah, come in. How much was it? Twelve pound fifty. It was. It was yeah, about fifteen pound. It was fifteen quid. Super person. cheap. And, um, and they don't they don't cook them after either, so no. that's good. <laughs> that's always a plus. But uh, dress warm because the wind up here is mighty Ooh. cold. Yeah, it's cold. Craig, I can't get warm, Craig. I don't know what to do, Craig. I don't know why I can't get warm. What's that noise? Don't, no, don't. Get out. Get out now. 
No! The yeah. acoustics of these trousers give her a lovely little pop. Right, where are we going now? Another news, we put overnight oats in the fridge and forgot about them and they just went everywhere in the fridge. So much for getting inspired by other van lifers. Who inspired us to get the oats? Tanya and Adam. Jits. Jits into the sunset. Go and watch their channel. Beautiful, beautiful couple. So we were watching them and they're all healthy and they're doing four hour hikes and I was like, we should do overnight oats. <laughs> so we did and now they're everywhere. So thanks Tanya and Adam. Thanks, <laughs> that's your fault that that's everywhere. So lock more lick. <laughs> attacked and the drone plummeted towards the earth let's rewind for a second as we entered the national park we saw this sign so i'm guessing it was taken out by this guy's son daniel son <laughs> eagle son we don't know if something hit the drone i don't think the drone hit anything but then it just started flipping out the gimbal was going mad and it, I think it's just hit the deck somewhere. What, what, what are we going to do? Put your shoes on, we'll have to go find it. And you, you're having a laugh, like... It's, it's on the map. Oh. It tells me where it is, yeah. Really? Yeah, we'll find it. Oh. Get your shoes on. But how high did it drop out of the sky? I don't know. Pretty high. Get your shoes on, oh, every I mean, it's a lovely day for it, really. All right, well, this land's super soft and squidgy. So if it fell, fingers crossed. I just want to point out as well, we're not the type of people to talk about our drones because I hate it when people talk about drones. They're supposed to add to the videos, you know what I mean? And people not know, give that mysterious, <laughs> oh my God, how did they get, did they throw so their camera? It. I hate it when it gets, like, it takes over, but at the moment it is. So. It is. We needed to have landed on this soggy marsh, bouncy marshland, and it'd be fine, no broken arms or legs. Oh, pray for us, lads. Okay, so we're the blue dot and we need to be at the red you think that little red kite is the drone, is it? No, I know that red kite is the drone. Oh, he knows it. So we're just hiking Africa just to try and get there. It's here. And it looks absolutely fine. I don't know. No, I don't... that doesn't look fine. No, it does not look fine? That does not look fine. Why? Well, look the gimbal. Look at the state of it. The motor's come off. Where's the motor? Look at it. Pure masher, mate. Oh, no. That looks like something's attacked it. You reckon? Yeah, look at the, there's like, it looks like talon marks in that. <laughs> does it? Yeah. No, honestly, it does. Like how else would it have that? It landed on grass. Oh, you mean like the scratches on the plastic? Yeah. Looks like something's grabbed it. That one's bent and fucked as well. <gasps> All right, we've got to park up in the forest which is lovely, and now uh, I've convinced Grandma... Just put my pyjamas on, like. <laughs> she actually has as well. So we're going to take our cuppers, and I can hear the river down this way, so... We're going to mourn our drone. Oh, no! Ah, we've put in for a repair request at DJI, so we're going to have to post it off. Probably won't have a drone for about two weeks, but... Worst things have happened, you know? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas! Oh, look at this, lads. Come on, cup of tea and a river. Look at that. Winning. You getting in? No, it looks freezing. Alright lads, that is it for this week's vlogs. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves because we've had a great time. We wanted to say as well, we just hit 70,000 subscribers, which is mental. That is just so many people, I can't believe it. So hello to everyone, old and new. Thanks for sticking with us. Yeah. Um, if you want to really represent King in it, then get yourself some merch, rep the crown, you know? Yeah, um, we, we don't have anything on today, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so tune in next week for someone's very special day. I'm a bit of a legend, you might have heard. This legend here, <laughs> 12 years cancer free. So uh, yeah, I'll see you next Sunday. One, two, three, bye! bye. Okay.
lost. We need protection. Where's the VPN? Yeah. Hold your ground. Hold on. He's right by me. Yeah, he's back. <laughs> oh, come on. We're trying to do a piece of camera. No, I smell like a flower, but come on. Surfshark is an online app that you can get on your phone, your iPod. iPod? <laughs> my true love, Jack. He's hilarious. He's my favourite person. <laughs> but his ER's got IBS and it will flare up and we won't sleep tonight, so no more popcorn for you. <laughs> <laughs>